The views expressed in the following program do not necessarily represent the views of this station or its management. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life from Wichita, Kansas, America. 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 All right. We're, we are going to do it totally different this time. Yes, we are. Obviously. Okay. Totally different. Okay. These are not new hosts. I know, right? I know. These are not going to be our regular hosts because they're very, very busy gentlemen, okay? Um, but I do want to say Joey um, got delayed at work, okay? And then Don had a project that he's working on and couldn't, couldn't make it tonight as well, okay? So you're going to have our ever outspoken Mr. Joe and, of course, okay. the lovely Fawcett. And our guests for the majority of the show tonight are two gentlemen that I think are going to do amazing things for our city. And I'm so very, 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 very honored um, that you guys took the time to be here today. Are they going to do it by next week? I hope so. <laughs> In fact, um, I, Brandon, right? Brandon Johnson, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and of course, my friend. Bond. Gary Bond. Bond. <laughs> Gary Bond. Okay, and he's running. Okay, I'm so excited. You are running for District 5. Um, and I just love this picture of you and your wife, and I can't wait to get into a little bit about the campaign and, and how things are going and, and the things that you want to see for the city. Okay, but we have an event that you, my friend, are in, pretty much in charge of, basically. I mean, you are the, aren't you the, well, <laughs> I love this part too. You're the man of the year. Why don't you tell me about that one real quick? I am a quick. candidate for man of oh, the year. Okay. What? You're, yeah, <laughs> check this out. He is a candidate for the man of the year. Yep. For the lymphoma and uh... leukemia lymphoma society. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. Um, well, I was surprised when I got the notification about it. it was just an email saying that I got nominated. Um, since then, I have done a lot of research on what the society does. Mm -hmm. um, they've done some amazing work as far as finding or trying to find a cure for blood cancer. Right. Um, from what I know, there isn't one yet, but they are doing some exciting things. Uh, there's a video that they put on YouTube called "Fire with Fire." Uh huh. Um, so. I guess since this is on TV, you know, I will be quoted, but it's it's basically fire a... Fire by fire? Yeah, fire by fire. Okay. And it's basically a way that they take a genetically modified HIV virus uh -huh. to where it won't transmit AIDS, right. but it will attack cancer. I've and heard something about yeah. that. There's a lot of mm -mm. fascinating... Mm -mm. When you, when you watch yes, the video, I, know. I, I thought the same thing, this. but when you watch the video, it's, it's pretty amazing. When they told me to stick a needle this big in my back will make pain go away, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. But okay, so yeah. So I'll yeah, I, so I, I, well, it was funny because when you got here, I was like, I, I don't know why, because we were talking back, that's it, we were doing a bachelorette thing, or talked about it on the last show. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so for some reason, I had that stuck in my head, and I'm like, so you're going to be the. You're, I thought so you'd be So it's like a little dead. bit different of a man of the year. Yeah. No <laughs> he's auction not off. being auctioned no off. Date. He's happily <laughs> married, ladies. Yes. He's very happily married to a very beautiful lady. Um, so let's clear that right now. He's not available. <laughs> okay. The event that's coming up um, this Saturday. Tell me a little bit about it. It is here in Wichita. Yep. This Saturday, my organization, CORE, mm -hmm. uh, Community Operations Recovery Empowerment, we're doing a Know Your Rights workshop. Mm -hmm. um, that was kind of spurred by a lot of the recent events with law enforcement around the country and also here in Wichita. Mm -hmm. We've had two police shootings in the last six months. Actually, I think three now. Um, three already this year, I think. Yeah, I was going to say, just in January, I think there was... Three. Quite a few. Yeah. Well, uh, we were talking about more of the the killings, I guess. Yeah. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Icarus Randolph back in July fourth last one, year, yeah. and then Mr. Quinn uh, yeah. or Santiago's uh -huh. son uh, this year. But right. um, so we were looking at that, and do citizens really know their rights when it comes to law enforcement? Do you know that you can use your Fourth Amendment rights with search and seizure? Do you know that you can use your Fifth Amendment right? Um, to not say anything. Right. Um, do you also know what the policies and procedures are with law enforcement when you get pulled over or you get confronted on the sidewalk? So. And this is a class to go over all that for the Yes, we public? have three attorneys that will be talking about is it what free? citizen. Yes. 
So what citizens can and cannot do. Nola's Pizza will be served. We're providing Free that for pizza. everyone. pizza. Yep. We're going. Going so, for the food And then alone. we also no. have a former <laughs> WPD officer that will be there, too, to kind of talk about um, some of his experiences with the department. So it's really a um, empowerment event to teach people their rights. It's not really taking a side of citizens or law enforcement, right. but just letting people know what their actual rights are so they can use them. Right. I think that's brilliant. Yeah, that absolutely. And where where am I going? Okay, we are it going to. It is at um, so the core office is at Ninth and Madison, one zero zero four North Madison, in the office complex. Right across the street is the clubhouse, and that's one zero zero five North Madison. Okay. Can and, you give me like a yeah give me location? The, uh, the I guess the best call street would be Central and Grove. I'm not okay. Central, but Ninth and Grove. Ninth or, and Grove. Um, from 135 okay. and 9th Street. Oh, okay. I know where that head is. Head east on 9th Street. Okay. Okay. I can find that. Um, all right. I, I really, really would like to encourage, you know, our citizens to attend this because I don't think people understand. They well, I don't think people know any they of don't this. Know. They don't yeah. know. Whose they fault don't is know. that? That would be the individuals. But Thank here's you. the thing. Individual Individually, they should what go to this and find out so that they're no longer... It is the individual's responsibility. I do agree with you. Well, That's, I mean, but I agree, but at the same time... Where do you time, get that information you, at? You take those classes away in school, so now that's not being taught. I know. So your interest in government isn't there anymore. Right. So you're not really looking to the Constitution to see what you can and cannot do. Right. I carry it around in my phone. It's a free app. He does. He does. Really? He does. He does. He does. He's yeah. not kidding you. He used to be a private <laughs> investigator. Oh, okay. you know, and so he kind of, you know, knows, you know, what the law is and what the law isn't, you know, where, but I don't think that uh, uh, just every day general working public. folks no. don't really know. I, I, my favorite class was government in high school. Okay. But school has turned into an indoctrination process. Okay. They've removed a lot of that so that they exactly. can dumb down America. Now, that said, this is the day and age of the internet. There is absolutely no excuse for not knowing what the Constitution says. Zero zip zilch nada. It's all over the internet. It's on your Android phone. It's on your iPad. It's everywhere. The Constitution was written in layman terms. Any idiot can understand the Constitution if you read it verbatim for what it is, including all of its commas and hyphens. Even again, the misprints are there and explained. It's yeah. all there. There's and no again, reason. so research it. I mean, research it. But this I mean, is one source of this, research. This of is another source of research. I can't personally, and you know me. How many pages are there in the Constitution? Go ahead. Twenty-seven. I, know, I see. It's not he is hard a to read. Of I, I, I know. I have. Where's my purse? Because so I have a well. copy in my purse, and I have a copy of the Bill of Rights. Okay. okay? Thank you. He does. She does. Uh, I do, and it's all you know, all torn from <coughs> referring to it over the years, but school now and we did a show on common core i think okay so yeah remember. basically that's um and, and a, a day does not go by where i don't see a parent from anywhere you know i've seen them in colorado i've seen them in, in other states and a lot here in wichita where we have had common core forced upon us and the parents are like this makes no sense and they're rewriting well, this history. This man's group is offering people an opportunity to get this education. It'll be interesting to see if somebody actually takes the advantage I of it. Think they th I well, think they many? better. And I think that this is getting that no the information out there that this is available. Well, so. it, we can hold Hopefully over 100 more. in the building. We've already had around 80 RSVP, so it, it should get out there. So it's pretty much already a full house. And you are going to videotape this? It's Yes. Okay, you've got a, a videotaper coming yeah. from WSU. Yeah. Um, would you mind... Um, getting that video to me and, and let me oh, I'm fine. sure you're gonna put it on Facebook I mean we just got to get it we out would there. love to attach it to our Facebook page yeah, yeah. Put it to YouTube yeah we have a YouTube oh, yeah. channel we'll okay good 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 yeah. I want to get this out how do you feel Gary you know about you know the fact that we do have a lot of different organizations and this is just one mm -hmm. you know there's several uh, there was another event that I couldn't make it to uh, it was last Saturday uh, because I my <coughs> granddaughter wasn't feeling well but um, not this last Saturday the Saturday before how do you feel about these well one of my points is that uh, we're gonna choose a new police chief coming up mm -hmm. and I want to be involved in that if not uh, I want to be that's one of the high points of my, yeah. my uh, Some paperwork outside the department. Is that, uh, yes, yeah, <laughs> and uh, but uh, the reason you know we need to have a police chief that's going to be able to stand up in front of the public, right, and say to the bad guys, "Hey, you break the law, 
you're going to pay the price. I'll right. offer my service. But we also need, <laughs> but I think we need that same police chief to be able to stand up in front of the public and say to the law-abiding citizens that, you know, the good guys, that I'm the police chief and if and there's no reason for you not to trust me, right. we're here to serve and protect. Right. But Where then once he said that, he needs to back that up. Right. right. If, there, if there are you get rid of them right he needs to back that up but we need somebody that's going to bring the community together and i like to be involved in that because i my dad was a policeman for 30 years i see that in the city of wichita mm -hmm. and my brother works for the sedgwick county sheriff so mm -hmm. public safety is one of my uh topics and i'll make like a that. suggestion gary uh yes. constitutionally no police officer has a duty to engage uh, yeah, the Supreme Court's upheld that. They do not have a duty to put themselves in harm's way if they decide not to. So if you look at Wichita Police Car, uh, they, they've even taken <clears throat> to protect off of the car. It just says serving proudly. No more serve and protect. Uh, that being said, Did if they're not there that? to do the job, then they shouldn't be in the job. Anything. So uh, my suggestion would be you put the legislature in the verbiage there that says that if officers are not going to engage and do their job, they can't be officers but i think that protect because my dad was a policeman for 30 years i probably have it up here you mm -hmm. know because on the police car it used, it to, used be to be yeah and uh but but also um we need to have uh, an officer that's going to be willing to uh, protect himself and i think that's the main reason that an officer would engage is either protect himself mm -hmm. or to protect others right. and that's you have to have an officer that's willing to act yeah. when it's needed right but we when had it's not sit needed, out in the parking lot and know. watch the fight when i broke it up uh, mm -hmm. and then then once i've got everybody quivering on the ground then they come up and want to chew me out for it uh, but that's uh, <laughs> and i'd be interested in going too if i'm available saturday i'll write this down yeah. right i'd like to do it myself you. I, I, we, we've got a lot more to do. We are not even close to being done, and this first segment always goes so quick. So They all do. They, don't, they always do. You guys are not leaving. We're not leaving. Not leaving. Be right back. Real people, real life. Real people, real life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Knapp Weaponry is the home of Wichita's newest indoor temperature-controlled shooting range. Mention this ad for two-for-one pricing weekdays from noon to four. Knapp Weaponry is an NRA Business Alliance member that offers NRA and state-certified instruction classes, training, and women's unarmed self-defense classes. We buy and sell new and used guns and offer gunsmith services. Knapp Weaponry offers a free range session with the purchase of a new gun. We also offer transfer services and an array of ammo. Knapp Weaponry, the West Side's best kept secret. Hi, I'm Samantha. And I'm Mike. I'm Domingo. With Economy Motors. Tax time is right around the corner and we're here ready to help you with your transportation needs. We offer a wide variety of quality vehicles priced $12,995 and under with easy approval and easy terms. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. Your job is your credit at Economy Motors. 2305 South Broadway, where we've got your back. Economy Motors! Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and lowest prices store-wide, wants to remind you of very important savings days. Wine day, Tuesdays get 20% off. Beer day, Wednesdays get 10% off. Microbrews and imports. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. The King, 
Credit King Auto Sales. The biggest buy here, pay here in Kansas. The King's Quarter, 31st Street South and Broadway. The King knows you worked hard for your tax refund. The King will give you more for it. The King of buy here, pay here. The King of low down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no problem with the King. The King does it better than all the rest. GoCreditKing.com. Okay, once again, welcome back, Real People, Real Life. And I want to thank Brandon again for sticking around and Gary again for sticking around. Um, I'm so I, here. I'm going to get a copy of this <laughs> event, if you don't mind, and put it in. Boss is still here. We know Joe's here. <laughs> I'm going to put um, this up on our on our show, if that's okay. Great, great. Okay. I definitely appreciate um, that. I, I think this is really cool, and I can't wait to to see, you know, um, the comments, you know, from the different from the different guest speakers. Um I noticed something too, Gary, because I saw um, when we were talking about choosing a new police chief, and I applaud you uh, for that very much. I really do. Um, I think we need to do that <laughs> quickly. We anyway, um, you. You, you, uh, the support of the WSU Innovation Campus um, that they are building, we need to diversify our economy by supporting our education and training institutions. Um, Boy, tell me some more about this because I am seeing WSU doing some amazing things. Right, and that comes to that's that's on the vision part that mm -hmm. I had there, mm -hmm. um, and I um, saw a presentation from Dr. Bardo about yeah. a week ago, uh -huh. and uh, and he showed us that the where, where the golf course is that whole area yeah. is going to be changed. Really, um, and a lot of it uh, has uh, private investment. There's going to be a hotel and some apartment complexes that will be owned by private yeah. people, not necessarily the, the uh, dorm or something uh -huh. that WSU is going to build. But the main thing is that the, the jobs creation part. Right. And that's what we need to do because we had talked earlier about uh, how we lost 25,000 jobs here yeah. in Wichita. And we lost, uh, just last week, we lost another 620 at Learjet. Right. And so jobs is probably uh, on the, the, big, the most important thing that I think that local leaders need to concentrate on. I agree. And by innovating, which is to make us more diverse, mm -hmm. that's what Dr. Bardo is doing out there. And, yeah. and it's, it's much better for him to explain it, but basically it's just, it's other than the aircraft industry. And not only the aircraft industry is going to be here, right. and it's going to be still one of our backbone type of, right. of things but um, it's not going to ever I just don't think it's going to come back as strong as it ever no, was don't you don't so think it will no, no. I I've been mm -hmm. I've been told well, that airplanes mm -hmm. right you know when we built airplanes in many years in Wichita and it's always been with the the rivets and the sheet metal and I've been told that the, the, with the innovation mm -hmm. that there's more and more robots and machines going to be building those mm. but they're not going to be built out of sheet metal and rivets they're going to be built out of composites, composites. Mm -hmm. and when that happens that industry is going to change you'll have less and less people needed to build airplanes and so we need to innovate okay. and that's what dr bardo is trying to bring to town automotive manufacturing could come here because there's a lot of commonalities with the work uh, mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of things that they could manufacture here but wichita is no longer the air capital Right, you know, and I and you know me, I got to get my two cents worth in here. Um, you know, a lot of composites right now that are being made over, for example, in the here we UK, go. you mm -hmm. know, um, <laughs> are made in hemp. True story. Okay, oh. true story. Here There's we go. vehicles. <laughs> I know. Here we go, kids. All right. There's vehicles no, there for fuel vehicles. to run those vehicles. I mean, we should be growing industrial hemp in the state of Kansas and manufacturing with everything that we possibly can you want to talk about a job creator for the state it is changing okay i i, I think that that's uh, going before the city shortly it, 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 uh when it comes to recreational use and the the laws are mm -hmm. you know trying to come down for penalties mm -hmm. uh, at the state level they're trying to introduce it for medical marijuana there's a hemp and then bill there's also a, and there's hemp yeah and i think that the biggest thing that uh, people that are enthused about that kind of product it, the biggest thing they can do is is education because right. the public does not know Correct. that hemp and and marijuana that you smoke mm -hmm. are two different plants right right and right. so and and i think education is Would where that's wonderful. is the key if right. for that yeah. kind of thing right right yes. most people don't know that that paper is hemp exactly mm -hmm. yeah our federal government is the single biggest user of hemp in the United States. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Well, <laughs> you always learn something new. What can I tell you? <laughs> um, but I really do believe, 
you know that um, you know we've got that the, we've got great you know agricultural opportunities we've got great farmers um, the equipment is there okay it's a simple s supplement item that you can add to your current John Deere equipment boom bada bing you're good to go okay then we have all these empty you know facilities that we could set up for the manufacturing we can manufacture everything from the composites that are currently being used for vehicles we can do biofuel um, have you have you ever seen a hemp crate um, mm. it is the most phenomenal stuff you can't you know growing up in, in Kansas you know we only see the videos of, of that 2 by 4 that just goes from a tornado wind and just blasts through brick even right. not hemp crate it is the well, strongest. While you're on the subject of getting everybody off of hemp, let's mm -hmm. talk about all the sin taxes that they're wanting to pass. Because here we're complaining because they <clears throat> took away somebody's right to choose a product. Yet the government is going to engage yet again in picking winners and decide they're going to pick on those people that choose just the products that some people don't like. Oh, I know. Like tobacco selective, or alcohol. Selective taxation and selective <clears throat> prosecution. I have massive problems with both of those. See, I don't like rap music. Mm -hmm. So if it was up to me, that would be illegal. <laughs> but since I swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, that means I have to uphold the, the rights of the rapper right. as well as those mm -hmm. rights that I have. I have a very good friend that's Where rapper, I have a way. problem is they're picking and choosing who can do what and then they're going to try to weed this one out by taxing them differently. Mm -hmm. There's nothing about that that the founders intended. I agree. Our government is supposed to be based on individual rights not collective rights and that okay. has flipped. Correct. Now it's gone to this collective because uh, we've got this collective group of health Nazi non-smokers out there with their 1979 study that the US Supreme Court threw out and there's no validity to their claim but because they didn't like something now we've got smoking bans across the country we've got all this insanity and because none of their claims have worked we still have all the so-called smoking related diseases in the hospital even though they've cut the number of smokers way down mm -hmm. now they're even talking about third hand smoke there's actually been commercials on tv talking about the residue that came off of some surface in a smoking room that you took home to your kid where does this insanity stop? Oh, God, I don't know. Um, Gary, I want to get back to something that we were talking about on mm -hmm. our jobs because we were talking earlier, you know, um, around that 2009, 2010, mm -hmm. in my industry, in, in marketing and in media, public relations and all that fun stuff, um, boy, I mean, I had a lot of clients uh, in a couple of large uh, developed very nice areas of town, one east, one west, okay? Um, I lost 20 uh, advertisers in that two years from those two locations, you know? That's, mm -hmm. and, and, and it does, it, I mean, you drive down, you know, go down Douglas, you know? Um, go down uh, Oliver, go down uh, Hillside, you know? I, I, I'm just like, where's everybody going, you know? Texas. A lot of them are going to Texas, <laughs> Colorado. Um, to Colorado. In fact, I was going to say I just know I know of three families that just moved to Colorado, and they have great jobs waiting for them, and they have a much better health care system. And um, when um, our governor, <sighs> uh, gosh, I can't stand that man. Anyway, don't get me started. But he's done a lot of crazy things, and you know that we are just like his guinea pigs. You do know that. No. Yeah, it was announced today, <laughs> and I'll get into that later. Okay, back to jobs. Um, I, 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 I love that that was with one of the. You, you have three areas that you that you want to work on, and that first one was jobs. Yeah, and in in the jobs area, I think that we need to empower, mm -hmm. and we need to promote. I think the part of the job of the city of Wichita would be to promote the jobs or the businesses that are here. Correct. So we need to promote those. Right. But we also want to, need to have reasonable regulations and support for the local businesses that are here now. Right. Um, the bringing in businesses from other places of so very very shift small that percentage. culture of anti-business that's within the city government. Uh, it's culture change. And it's going to have to happen, and this is a new day. Uh, we're going to uh, we're going to elect a new mayor and three council people. Myself, uh, my era will be new. The other is one's the old one going to be hung. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> this is the new West, not the old West. Oh, okay. okay, and and we don't hang of uh, mayors that that we don't like. But uh, um, we take away rights we don't like. Well, yeah, that's uh, uh, could I, be they true. They just never know where they're going to go. I never. But we need to support them. But 
keeping the quality of life high yeah. and the cost of living low. Right. And when that happens, companies will want to locate here. Right. Plus, agree. the ones that are here will want to stay and grow. It's been tough. It's a tough thing. It, but it's it's yeah. not. You just can't buy jobs. You can't right. just. Uh, you can't. You can't buy jobs. It's got to grow from the entrepreneurs and the local mm -hmm. businesses. Right. Um, that you know support that. It's us mom and pop businesses yeah. really that that. Um, you know, we're scraping, we're, we're hurting, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, I, I, I would love to see a How pro get the job city platform. to apply the 10th Amendment rights of the state to override Dodd-Frank so local banks can loan to businesses again? Right now, banks are locked up tight because of Dodd-Frank. The ratios right. are never going to be right, and in order to borrow money now, you must first prove that you don't need it. Uh, that's uh, that's how, where we. How do we shift that to the local level? That's uh, you can't shift it to the local level. All we can do is tell them what we think uh, up the line. We yeah. we put a package together, tell the state what we think. Hopefully, they put a package together, tell the congressmen and senators what we think, and they have to go. It's it's we're battling Washington all the time on that right, kind right, of topic. Right. Well, that's the state what, can trump tough. them with the Tenth Amendment. The, the the state can say Dodd Dodd Frank does not apply to Kansas. They can. And so that would turn Kansas into the business mecca because this might be the only place that anybody could get a loan for a business. Yeah, that, may, <laughs> that might be a good idea. I'll remember that when I'll be at uh, Kansas Day this coming weekend up in Topeka. Uh -huh. And I'll be talking to the governor you don't like. Yeah, so, tell him I said howdy. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll bring up that uh, fact and try to get some feedback from him. Dodd-Frank, maybe we can go around it. I would love to see him do something like that. <laughs> it could I would love to generate that kind of, I, you know, businesses yeah. here. And we that do kind need of the, the, flow the, the, the thing jobs. that we were talking about earlier, okay, is these building blocks, okay? We do have a wonderful opportunity and I want our people of Wichita, Kansas, to understand this. We have a huge opportunity here mm -hmm. to 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 take the building blocks from people like you and and and, and you, you know, and hopefully a, a good mayor, and and we can show that how we can take these little building blocks and turn things around and make it what it should be. You well, know, I think that you know we've left out the different groups here that maybe the council controls or doesn't control, but I would say that these groups have much more influence with the council than what they say publicly, and that's the, right. the Chamber, the uh, Economic Development Coalition, Go Wichita. All of these groups they do. are not supporting the small businesses. They basically You're wrote right. that sales tax. You're right. And when you looked at the jobs portion, <clears throat> there was no support for small You're business. Right. It was all for export business. And when you brought up the mom and pop shops need help. It was well; they're not making enough money to really do anything for us. Exactly. Yeah. And that can't be the same thought process. But it's those groups. It's not necessarily the council. They have the ear of the council. They're the ones writing these different proposals. Mm -hmm. No one's focusing on them. They're looking mm -hmm. at the council members. You're absolutely right. All right. All right I, I got to take a quick break. I I wait a minute. I got to take a quick, quick break. Um, you know how it goes. Real people, real life. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hi, I'm Samantha. And I'm Mike. I'm Domingo. With Economy Motors. Tax time is right around the corner and we're here ready to help you with your transportation needs. We offer a wide variety of quality vehicles priced $12,995 and under with easy approval and easy terms. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. Your job is your credit at Economy Motors, 2305 South Broadway, where we've got your back. Economy Motors! At Economy Motors, we got your back. Knapp Weaponry is the home of Wichita's newest indoor temperature-controlled shooting range. Mention this ad for two-for-one pricing weekdays from noon to four. Knapp Weaponry is an NRA Business Alliance member that offers NRA and state-certified instruction classes, training, and women's unarmed self-defense classes. We buy and sell new and used guns and offer gunsmith services. Knapp Weaponry offers a free range session with the purchase of a new gun. We also offer transfer services and an array of ammo. Knapp Weaponry, the West Side's best kept secret.
the king. Credit King Auto Sales, the biggest buy here, pay here in Kansas. The King's Quarter, 31st Street South and Broadway. The King knows you worked hard for your tax refund. The King will give you more for it. The King of buy here, pay here. The King of low down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no problem with the King. The King does it better than all the rest. GoCreditKing.com. 